she brings my better half, my backbone, my support. She's that, she's that strength in me. And, and when I say that strength, I mean, she makes sure I pray, you know, she makes sure, you know what I'm saying, when I'm weak, when I'm working, that I have, you know, that strength. She makes sure anything where I let, she makes sure that she's that strength. And she builds me. She builds me. Yeah, I'm a believer in unconditional love. And I want to be uh, his greatest helper and friend. And I feel like if we can do that, if I can give him unconditional love, and if I can be truly his friend, I feel like we can do anything. So that's really what I want to give him, love and friendship. Unconditional love. I'm feeling really excited. I mean, it feels good to know that you're about to marry someone who can love unconditionally. There's nothing better than finding your better half. There's nothing better, nothing greater. I'm ready for the best day of my life. I'm ready. How did we meet? Okay. Wow. Basically, we met somewhat in a parking lot. <laughs> well, uh, one of my friends got me at the house. Doing something that I really don't do, I don't like doing, is going out to a, a dance club with my cousin. She talked me into going to this, like, she said it was a bar to get me there, but when I got there, I was like, girl, it's a club what this is. We end up standing in line for a very, very, very long time and... And I saw her, you know, I was like, wow, man, that girl is beautiful, man. She looked like Rudy Huxman. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So we ended up getting in line and she was like right in front of me and my cousin. I was like, oh man. I was like, you know what? If I talk to her, I was like, I'm done. I'm not going in the club, nothing. I'm going home. If she leave, I'm leaving. It's just, the night gonna be over. And she was actually had to use the restroom so bad. She was like, let's get out of line, so. I told my cousin, I said, wait, she's gone, party over. I'm leaving. We were walking or whatever, going back to our cars and I kept hearing this guy saying, Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. And I was like, friend, uh, he talking to you because I don't talk to guys at clubs. And she was like, nah, he talking to you. I said, they got, we, we don't know who he talked to. I'm just saying this because I'm not about to turn around. So <laughs> she said, he talking to you, but he kept saying, excuse me, ma'am. And I was like, you know what? Said, Whoever that is sound like he got some sense. So I guess I'll be nice enough to stop to see. Start putting that uh, good old English on her. <laughs> And I was like, he was like, uh, I saw you get out of line and I told my cousin that I'm getting out of line too because I got to talk to him. I was like, really? Anyway, we wound up talking a little and it was a good conversation and it was decent. He looked decent. She's a very beautiful woman. I mean, she's a very beautiful woman. So I just went out and gave him my number and, you know, he called and it kind of went from there. And that was it. Weird, but true. <laughs> So he sings and he asked me to come hear him sing at this church. And then um, we left and we just went to uh, Fox and Hound and uh, it just turned into a date. His cousin and my cousin ended up going with us, which they didn't make it. But, <laughs> but we, that was, we kind of just had fun and played around on our first date. It was like the best day of my life. Like, we talk and we can relate to each other. So I consider that to be like our first date. Just simple, you know, got to know each other, talked a lot. 
and we actually just had a good time. It was like I didn't take my eyes off of her the whole night. She didn't take her eyes off me. It was like we actually were in tune to each other. It was, it was really surreal, it was scary. It was like magic. Wow, you know what I'm saying? Like I barely know her, but I feel like she's all I know already. It was like I knew him. So I was amazed on the way home. I was thinking, I was like, he cool. We took this picture. When I looked at the picture, I was like, we look like we're supposed to be together. That's what I said to myself. But I liked him that much though too, but of course I ain't tell him. So everybody I showed the picture to was like, he love you. So I thought it was amazing. It was chemistry. I knew that she was real, like she was a real woman. He did everything that I prayed for. She was real about the things that she said. He was very caring, uh, he showed unconditional love. Just how he was with my children. She's the girl that your mom prepped you for your entire life, that you recognize her like right then and there. In the fact that we were able to be friends. I just felt something. It was like she showed me that she was just as much as into who I was as I was to her. Everything that he said he was gonna do, he did it. And that's when I knew. And I knew that he was the one. That she was the one. I didn't tell him that. <laughs> Oh my God, the proposal. I kind of made her upset earlier that day. It was uh, on Mother's Day. He told me, he said, babe, I'm gonna take you to a play. He said, well, we're not gonna take the kids. And she didn't have a clue what was going on. He got front row seats. I was like, oh, okay, I didn't know you had front row seats. That's cool. I actually kind of worked it out to have it during the, to propose to her during the intermission. So we sat down and uh, watching the play, laughing, giggling. She's having the time of her life. In the intermission session of the play, uh, they, you know, I was like, baby, you want to go get something to drink, you know? And he was like, yeah, he going along with it. And the next thing I know, a guy gets on the stage and say, um, Jose, Jose. And I'm thinking, why is this guy calling you? And I jumped up and I proposed to her right in front of a couple thousand people. And he just was like, can I have everyone's attention? And I'm like, what is he going to do? And got on one knee and proposed and gave me a ring. And I said, I will marry you. All my friends and family was behind me. So that's why I was on the front row. So my parents was there, his mom was there, his siblings was there, my friends and cousins and everybody like started coming up there. And I was like, Oh my God, so that made me cry. But yeah, it was really beautiful and well thought out. And he, he, he surprised me, he did. I've fallen in love with Talisha so many times. He loves unconditionally. She has great conversation. She's in tune to you. She's concerned. Uh, she considers like your comments, your thoughts. He hears from God and I love that because I know if I'm going to be a wife, I need to be able to follow and I need to be able to follow a man. And he's truly a, a man and that's special to me. As I learn how to love, I prefer that my growth in love be given to her because that's what makes me a better man when I understand how to love and what love really truly means then I desire to give her that and no one else. I love you baby with all my heart I love you. Oh watch out now. <laughs> I love you.